How does my hair look? Man, you look like Kurt Cobain. I don't get why you're wearing a wig to a meeting. And you look like Kurt Cobain. I mean, I didn't get a wig. Don't be jealous of my confidence. Don't question my fashion sense. Hey, manager, dude. What's up, bros? Uh, yeah, we're in the car right now, stuck in some really, really bad traffic. Hold on a second. You know, look, brosis. If you guys don't start taking this, like something serious here, this whole rich and famous thing. Yeah, this is gonna be a thing of the past. Can we get some more ketchup? Hey, I can get the CEO of Heinz to come down here. Bring a whole tanker full of ketchup. If you just get down here and sign these contracts. Yeah, look, brosis. We'll talk to you later, man. We got this major label showcase. Just show up at the club. And we'll work it out, alright? Wait, 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 I'm not done talking to you. Screw that guy. Hello? Yeah, man, I know that manager is like the biggest tool in the box, but I'll tell you what, you might have a point. Without a manager, those major label guys are gonna eat us alive. Man, they're gonna have to kill me before they eat me alive. Did they think so? Uh, yeah, it was mostly NSFW, and I was kinda at W. <laughs> Before we get to that meeting, I want to show you our awards closet. Do you remember this? How could I forget? That's our first gold MP3. That's right. We got this for having a track downloaded 500,000 times online. So we spray painted a circuit board gold and put it in a frame. Look sharp, isn't it? Yeah, whatever. What's that uh, other one you got there? Oh, this? This just happens to be a Grammy from 2007 that we won. That's right, we got that for being the best indie core rock avant pop duo from a temperate climate. It's made out of graham crackers. Um, we weren't there to accept the award, so we had to do it via satellite. Sorry we couldn't be there tonight. We're stuck in the remote wilderness. We, we saw a helicopter. I thought they were gonna save us, but they just they just dropped this and left. <laughs> if anyone's out there, please send help and, and and thank God for making this all possible. Is that uh I'm forgetting something? Like a meeting? Or meeting, the meeting. Okay, we'll be back. Joe, how's our favorite tour manager? Hey, Sean Paul, how's the album sounding? Hey, Chris, how's the mission video going? What? This video? Just imagine if uh, this mug is the mission video, and this coffee represents all your hopes and dreams. What a senseless waste. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel about the shoot so far. It's hard to believe that in a world full of beauty, that we are all on the track to destruction. 260 weeks ago, Zach and I got together at Station Hill Studios, this warehouse that faces this river. I stand out on that pier and look all tough and look at the cat skills and, you know, the tracks and stuff. And it's this place that we found our inspiration. We were drawing inspiration from all the reported activity underneath Yellowstone National Park. The Yellowstone Super Volcano. A super volcano capable of taking out the entire world if it explodes. I'm glad to see you, man. I was hoping to see you. Uh, I got a checkbook for you uh, in the car. I got your rent. Uh, oh, you let, me, let me go get that oh, for you. I'll right. be right back. Wow, crazy. Yeah. So, uh, how do you feel owning the building that, uh, you know, gave birth to dead unicorn, huh? Dead what? What the? What the? F uh, 
Yeah, that camera there, that looks like it's worth about a grand. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, yeah. no, wait, no, hey. So uh, now that our camera's gone, I was thinking that we could maybe shoot on something like really crappy VHS, but uh, instead I'm just going to go hang myself in the edit suite. Exactly, exactly. Always have a plan B, people, right? I mean, that's why we got Joe to book that huge tour so we'd have something to shoot in case the documentary didn't work out, right Joe? You know what's funny? Now that you guys are all rich and famous, none of these venues want you back. Oh, come on! Out of 40 venues, no one wanted to book us? Most of them are still under quarantine from your last tour at the Anthrax, and I don't mean the band. And remember that club you almost burned down because of your amazing pyro display? And I still got no feeling in my right arm. Well, can't we just film ourselves in the Fiesta, traveling around, listening to the new CD? How are those mixes coming along anyway? I think it needs a little more space bar. <laughs> the reason I have to mix your album on a typewriter is because my studio equipment is under a 12 foot thick concrete sarcophagus. This is a weird drum set. It practically looks like it's from the Soviet Union. That's because it is, dude. It's from the Soviet Union. We, you know, got it on Craigslist Russia. It was imported from Chernobyl. Some guy was just giving it away for free. Hot. Maybe we could do a documentary on me getting arrested by Homeland Security when they realized my last recording session was an act of terrorism. It wasn't terrorism at all, it was an act. That's what this mission video has been so far, an act. Paul's right, guys. I mean, everyone knows we're rich and famous, but no one knows who we really, truly are. You know what, Paul? We gotta get out of the studio and onto the road. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Travel, Travel montage. montage. Glenville. School mascot, drunken bagpipe guy. Oh, here comes my limo. Alright, I'll see you later. Hey! Oh, mom's ass. Jackson shut the door. <laughs> Welcome. This is my thinking place. This has been quite, uh, quite the time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hello from Scotia. Hello from Scotia. <laughs> awesome.
selling out tonight. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not yeah. even taking yeah. this. Oh, yeah. oh, you think you're going to be a good guy? Why don't you come up and hear a bunch of drums? You guys never played this town again. Doubt us, you guys are screwed. Man.